there are many situations in which you consider area. The area that you want to find out or calculate need not be of a single shape lying in a plane. However, it is interesting that when we know the formula to find the area of a rectangle, we can do many many things in day to day life. Kunal invited us for his birthday. He likes to read so we brought him a good book. The question was how much gift paper we need to buy. Naturally, wrapper should cover all the sides of the book. Every surface has area we have to calculate. We place the book on the table. Found out height, length and breadth of the book to be 3 cm, 20 cm, 12 cm respectively. Now, we could see that there are six surfaces, top and bottom, left and right side and also other two sides made by breadth and height. Each surface is a rectangle. Hence, we could calculate the area of each of the six surfaces. Sides of the top and bottom are length and breadth. So, the area is 20 into 12 equal to 320 square centimeters. Sides are length and height. The left side as well as right side have area 20 into 3 equal to 60 square centimeter. Front and back is the surface with the side breadth and height. The area of each is 12 into 3 equal to 36 square centimeter. The area of all the surfaces together is 320 plus 320 plus 60 plus 60 plus 32 plus 32 equal to 824 square centimeter. We measured 100 centimeter by 85 centimeter gift paper. In this act, we have also understood the formula of the surface area of rectangle parallel pipe or cuboid. Surface area equal to 2 times into the bracket LB plus LH plus BH close the bracket. The cuboid has following properties. Has six faces. Every face is a rectangle. Opposite rectangular faces have same area. All intersecting faces are perpendicular to each other. Cube is a special case of cuboid. It has all its sides equal. Thus, a cube of side A has surface area six times A square. It has all the properties of cuboid. The property that opposite faces have same area simplifies to all the faces have same area namely A square. Examples Ayesha stood first in the class in 10th standard exam. She is extremely happy. She has decided to distribute burfi to her friends. She has 24 friends. She gives equal amount of burfi to each by cutting the burfi bought horizontally and vertically at equal intervals. She bought a box filled with burfi of the size 18 cm by 12 cm. How will she cut the burfi? What will be the top area of each piece? What will be the surface area of each burfi? Oh, oh, come on. Let us eat burfi first and then find out. But no, her mother says find out first, it is easy. So, total area of the burfi top is 18 into 12 square centimeters which is 216 square centimeters. Total 24 friends that is 216 divided by 24 gives 9 square centimeters. Ayesha exclaimed it is a square. I will give each of you 3 centimeters by 3 centimeter piece. I will make 5 cuts along the length of 18 centimeters. With the edges of the box considered, we will have 6 pieces horizontally along the 12 cm side. I will make 3 cuts so along with the edges I will make 4 pieces. Nice. About the surface area of the burfi. Nitin said, I do not know the height. Ok, the height is 2 cm. Each burfi is a cuboid. 3 cm by 3 cm by 2 cm equal to surface area equal to 2 times into the bracket 3 into 3 plus 3 into 2 plus 3 into 2 which gives 42 square centimeter. Can someone tell me if the box is full with burfi 
no space left and has thickness of 0.5 cm, what will be its surface area? Look at the figure, find out the length, breadth and the height, rest is simple. Thank you.